Hello everybody and welcome to a Blender Game Engine tutorial. My name is Lara and I'm going to be your host. This is a one of three part episode on modeling, texturing, and animating some realistic foliage in the Blender Game Engine. So to start off, I'm going to bring in some textures that I downloaded off of cgtextures.com. Uh, this first one here I'm going to use is for a fern. And I'm basically going to start off by taking a plane, heading into edit mode, and scaling it to the approximate size of the leaf. I'm going to add in a couple of loop cuts, grab the middle one, make sure proportional editing is on. slide this over cool now what we can do is go ahead and start adding in our uh, little fern here uh, or sorry our little stem here so I'm going to move this over and add in cube and start scaling it down to the approximate size. And what I'm going to do is merge these points together. And bring them over this leaf texture. Okay, then what we can do is copy this and start rotating it. Actually, I'm going to hold off on that because it's going to be easier for us um, to texture this and then copy it and rotate it. So I'm going to go ahead and create a material for this stem because uh, we don't really need a, a texture for it. So I can go ahead, um, and I'm just going to bring in a grunge texture and use that um, use that to influence it a little bit and uh, I'm going to enable multiply and set this uh, well I can set this to maybe a dark brown okay it looks like chocolate okay anyway <laughs> we'll uh, go ahead and maybe, maybe a little bit more green. Yeah. Okay. Then what we'll go ahead and do is maybe reduce the amount of normal on this. Yeah, that's better. And we will go ahead and change the uh, way this shades. Okay, what we can do is I'm going to go ahead and mark the seam and unwrap it. And we can switch this to unwrap because I think that'll look a little better. And yeah, maybe I was wrong. Um, let's go to UV. Aha, we don't want a face here. Okay, we can go ahead and scale that up. Nice. Then what we can do is uh, basically move this over and copy it 
And what I'm going to do is bring in a new reference image, which is going to be this guy here. And that looks like it's going to work out okay. So we'll just uh, set another one of those aside. And then bring in another reference image. And with this one, I'm going to scale it quite a bit on this axis. And then bring it in as well. And what I'm going to do is delete this edge loop and bring this in. Okay. Let's make sure we uh, that these are actually touching. do is we'll go ahead and scale this up a little bit just to kind of match the leaf a little better and move this one over um, the last thing I'm gonna do is bring in plane uh, and scale it a little bit it's gonna be for a leaf And uh, then we can go ahead and start on our uh, on our flowers, I guess. Okay, so what we're gonna do is add a cube, bring it up one, uh, scale it down, and I'm gonna grab these vertices here and bring them up, and merge them at the center or collapse, I suppose, will work. And uh, now what we can go ahead and do is I'm gonna grab this bottom here. Uh, I guess it doesn't really do much. Um, I like to rotate a little bit, but okay. So we'll rotate that, and uh, eventually we're gonna add a bunch of leaves on here uh, once we texture the leaf. Uh, but for now, uh, we're not gonna do anything because it'll be easier. Uh, once the leaf is already textured, we can just copy and paste it. So, uh, we're going to go ahead and add uh, a circle here for a flower. It's going to be 8. And we'll just uh, scale it down. Scale it in the center. Okay, now we can uh, basically shape some petals, so we'll go ahead and uh, you know what, this will be easier to do if we do it like this. We'll add in our circle, shape it to the right size. Okay. Then what we can do is bring in one of these, any one of these edges, and copy it, and then extrude it. Make sure we have medium point activated. And we're just going to shape a petal here. thing about low poly plants in games especially is most of the time they're only going to be within uh, a close render distance and then you're going to have a low poly object uh, when you get further away and then as you get even further away the object will uh, most of the time disappear completely uh, for terrain stuff like this. So. You can see we've got a pretty nice looking uh, petal there. And I'm uh, basically going to go ahead and
copy this petal. We can go ahead and merge those two together. Uh, the petal, we don't have to worry about. Uh, whether or not uh, we're texturing it because we're not going to texture it uh, we're just going to give it a material so what we can go ahead and do is shade this all this to smooth uh, and then we can make sure seam there. We'll delete this bottom face if it has one. Unwrap it. You'll see that should change. Oh, no. We have to actually apply material first. We'll go ahead and apply plant stem. And, uh, okay, it has material. It's just hard to see. So what we'll do is Grab this and these petals and look from the side view and just rotate it. Now we can go ahead and do. So I want to see these textures better. Okay. Uh, is maybe scale this down a little bit. Let's scale this in a little bit. And now we can create uh, some petals. So we'll go ahead and assign these to this material. I'm going to start off by changing it to tune lighting, or tune shading, and turning the smoothness up quite a bit and uh, the intensity down quite a bit. do is put a slight, very, very slight pink in that petal. Like that. And a very slight blue in the shading. Okay. Uh, now what we can do uh, to add a bit of depth to this, let's grab these and uh, bring them in a little bit. I think that'll that might make it look a little better. Okay, a little more. Yeah, I think that looks better actually. Okay, now what we can do is add a reflection map to this. So go ahead and add a reflection map. And it should be very, very small. Uh, but it, it's just going to kind of add a pearly look to it. And then we can go ahead and add in our grunge texture. It's going to be generated. And we'll bump the normal. Okay, we'll set this to UV. exclude this piece but everything else we can scale up a decent amount and uh, maybe not so much my texture isn't seamless so we're gonna have to compromise Okay. 
and uh, I don't need nearly that much normal. Okay. Now what we're gonna go ahead and do is uh, basically uh, end of the tutorial here for today, uh, because the rest uh, is mainly done in texturing. Uh, I suppose we can do our grass tufts now. So we'll go ahead, rotate this 90 degrees. So yeah, that's the first part of this tutorial. It's pretty basic, um, just some, some simple modeling. The real key to successful uh, looking anything is textures. So I'll see you in part two.